Our first guest has been keeping us entertained for the last 15 years. Now she's here to tell us about her very exciting new weekend show. Please welcome Laura Whitmore. <laughs> Suit. Yeah. Well, listen, yeah, nice it, it was you. lovely to have a cuddle because somebody's just told me what your friendship ick is in my oh. ear and it might mean that you and I don't get on. Oh, no. <gasps> OK, go, oh, tell, tell me. Tell us what your ick is. Well, my ick is... Um, I love music and See. I feel music can be quite divisive and I have a lot of mates who I've known for years, we get on great, and I, I'm a festival person, I love going to the festivals. Yeah. And I've been... Have you got Wallet and Boots? I do, I do. <laughs> That's an in-joke. It's an in-joke <laughs> with the audience. <laughs> I love this. I want to feel included. What, is it? what, what are you doing in your Wellington boots? <laughs> but but I, I remember being at a Glastonbury Festival and it's the time when, oh, this band are playing here and these guys are playing here. And that's when I learned that, oh, that's your music taste. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to be friends anymore. Ask me what the yeah. first record I ever bought was. First record, OK. What is OK? Ernie the Fastest Milkman in the West. <laughs> Are we still You're friends? Not going to be friends. Well, I'm, I'm open to all choice. I've got quite an eclectic um, taste in music. I don't have that record, I'm not going to lie. Maybe I can borrow it. Uh, but, yeah, sometimes music can be quite divisive. I've yeah, done that with even right. partners where I'm like, oh, you like that band? OK, yeah. it's fine. I'm but music's going to be part of your new show, isn't it? It is. We have live music and I, oh, I just love live music and I love promoting it in any way. My first telly job ever was for MTV. Cool. Um, yeah. When there was music on telly. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, and I just got to travel around. Oh my God! Look at that picture. Oh my oh God! That was that yeah. Was look at that picture. Week. You look fantastic. From last week, uh, I remember. I remember when I started out in telly. I, that was the MTV Awards, the first MTV Awards I ever went to. Before a stylist or hair and makeup, I did that myself. I bought I bought the corset in Camden Market <laughs> and I borrowed the skirt from my mate. So lovely. Um, lovely. I felt so out of out of my depth. But I love now I've kind of come back round and I'm able to have this platform and a place to to have new music and also have chats with some some great people. Well, a name out and light is the Laura Whitmore show. That must feel cool. Yeah, it's weird because I'm like, like, I can do that because that's yeah. my name. So I'm, I'm, I'm the best <laughs> yeah, person yeah. to do that. So I'm really excited and I love the, the type of shows I love watching as well. And, mm. and ha like what you guys do, just having a chat. That's what it is, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. having a chat. Yeah, absolutely. I'm thinking about obviously your, your husband, Ian Sterling, fellow Scot, of course. Yes, um, we I'm love loving the Scots. You, well, Irish and Scottish is a good mix, isn't it? But I mean, your idea of a date night, you two, really makes me laugh. It's sitting in doing a true true crime podcast together. Yeah. You need to get I'm together with Denise and Lincoln. I love true crime too. I do. My husband well, doesn't. Well, so does Denise and Lincoln. Yeah. I mean, they absolutely love it. Yeah. So that's yeah. Well, it's weird fun. because we're quite different. In, so when we sit at home and we actually have time to watch a film on telly, we're, we're a little bit different. That's where you can get a bit of ick as well. Because I quite like psychological dramas and mm. Ian loves a good gory horror. Mm. But we've kind of brought this together with the true with crime Chicago, podcast yeah. because I'm like, Give me the backstory. I, I have a degree in journalism, and I love. Why did they do it? Yeah, well, that's that's I the love same it. for I'm me. I'm fascinated, yeah. and I feel like you can learn a lot about people from their childhood or, yeah. or what triggers them. But Ian's like, how did they do it? So, oh. <laughs> so we're we're very different, but but it works. Yeah, I think. Yeah. And it's and the thing about true crime. Sorry, I'm a true crime. No, yeah, right. I love it. Well. We'll go off on a you just now. have a total break from your life. You just mm. immerse yourself yeah. in these extraordinary stories. Mm. And uh, I mean, it's, I'm, I've only like the last few years done this. Yeah. Um, but actually. I plug in and the rest of the family doesn't exist. And I always think, I wish I'd done this when the kids were smaller. Yeah. <laughs> I wish it would have been my I way wish to escape. True crime podcast could have saved so many mo the mothers, uh, mothers <laughs> staying up at night at two o'clock, three yeah. o'clock in the morning. I would have loved just it. Loved we got a lot of emails and we got an email from a woman who listened to our podcast as she was giving birth. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Mm. So I, I don't know. I, I, list, I actually was listening to Feet with Mac when I was giving birth. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, whatever you're in. That is the ultimate distraction, isn't yeah. it? Really yeah. good. Well, talking about giving birth, um, baby's now two. I do, Not yeah. I, I, have, I have a person that I have to keep alive. <laughs> so far, so that's weird, isn't it? <laughs> it it's so weird and, and overwhelming. And it's, it's a juggle. And I think everyone knows that. I mean, I still mm. don't really know if I have it right, but we're just we do you trying. Have, do you, have you got your mum around? My mom is amazing. Yeah, yeah. My mom is amazing. And uh, I mean, she's flown 
thrown all over the place. Baby comes everywhere, um, as does my mother sometimes too. Right. I do think my my mother definitely prefers the baby than me. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. A, it's a different it's kind of love. It's when you have grandchildren. Yeah, the sometimes grandchildren come first. Well, sometimes definitely. I can't find her like either of them, and she's just gone off. <laughs> like, will she come back? I don't know. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, I think. And it, that makes her more social. As yeah. a baby, she'll be so much more used to being in like. I think it does. I did the same. You know, I took. I, I incorporated my little boy into my life so yeah. that he got to see my world. And then when mm -hmm. he had to go to school, it changes a bit. And yeah. But for now, everywhere, with you, everywhere like, like her own dressing room, everywhere, everywhere, room. everywhere with me, every step of the way, um, as much as I can. And it's still a jo I still don't know what's the right way to go about it. Is this the right way that I'm doing it? I kind of well, didn't really have we this. Right right I don't know what I'm doing. I'm making it up. <laughs> I've no idea. But I mean, we were actually talking about the, the whole social media thing because our kids are obviously older and social media media was yeah. not as kind of well established in our lives back in the day whereas you're coming into a world that everyone wants to know everything about you I find that quite overwhelming because everyone has an opinion about your own life yeah. mm -hmm. uh, when I sometimes I'm trying to work out what's the right thing yeah. for me and I was remember when I found out I was pregnant I was really overwhelmed we were in a lockdown I was um, working on Celebrity Juice, which yeah. is oh, God. <laughs> not ideal for a pregnant woman. <laughs> uh, like, I was the only sober person on that show. Um, <laughs> and and I, I tried to hide my pregnancy for as long as possible because I wanted to kind of get my head around yeah. it because it's, yeah. a, it's a big change. And, and as soon as it kind of came out, everyone had an opinion about what type of birth I was mm. going to have or how much weight had you put on or are you oh. going to lose the weight and are well, you going to need time off? Are you going to go back and do Love Island because you can't do that and have oh. a baby? And, and I had all this when, and these are questions I hadn't really answered myself. Yeah. Mm. So it's hard. And then you There's get this demand for yeah. everyone to be an oversharer and not yeah. everybody yeah. is. I know. But thankfully, pressure. Nadia's here to do that. <laughs> Um, listen, I'm Laura, a professional I'm, over here. Listen, sadly, we are out of time. Congratulations on the yeah. new show. Starting this Sunday? It's starting this Sunday on ITV1, and it's, oh, I love it, so thank oh, you. Oh, so really like it. Okay. Oh, Laura Whitmore, everyone. Yeah. yeah.